the bullet that ended Rosalia's life. Looking around randomly for it won't get me anywhere. The number of bullets that were fired at this scene is... Three. Right. One shot in the flower field, one was by the desk, and another at the entrance. That's a total of three shots fired. Of these three, which one was fired last? The, uh, the one in the flower field. No idea. None at all. <laughs> That's right. The bullet shot in the field is the one that killed Rosalia. If it was before then, she couldn't have stepped on the glass, and there would be no need to shoot her leg. Then, what condition was Rosalia in when she was killed? Probably collapsed on the ground. Yeah. Indeed. She was on the ground. Wait. Rosalia was lying on the ground when she was shot. That means the bullet would be in the ground, like right where she, she was shot. She have been standing with those injuries to her foot and leg. So the shooter must have been standing above her, shooting down. <sighs> That's right. The bullet that went through her chest must be... There you go. This is one of the few times I, I think I actually managed to figure out the, the scene before they did. That doesn't always happen for me. Bullet would be right about here. Here it is. This is the bullet that killed Rosalia. It's very clean. The bullet's in good condition. We'll be able to check the rifling on it. Excellent. We're not we don't we do we wanna do we wanna look through the field for any other possible bullets? I finally found one. It took me it took me years. I had to get the metal detector out. All right, little guy, we need you to analyze this rifle. Hey, little guy, I found what you wanted. You managed to find a bullet? I don't believe it. I kind of figured this wouldn't have been too hard. You don't? Oh, I'll just throw this thing away then. No, 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 no. Come on, Dr. Kimishima, I need that. Seriously. <laughs> she wouldn't do that. <laughs> Did you say something? No, I'll start analyzing it right away. Did you check the rifling? It's a perfect match. <sighs> so that means... Yes, there's no doubt at all that that bullet was fired from Albert's gun. Even still, I still feel like there's too much of a setup here. I want to hear more data logs, like to hear if maybe he went crazy over time, or if he's like, it's it's true, she'll spread the, mer the killing to all, I must take her down, or something. What in the world caused all this to happen, though? All right, so we can combine them? Ah, yes. We can use these to find a deeper truth. It's rifling perfectly matches the bullet. Why am I skipping text? Inside. I'm not even trying anymore. Like, that's not even something I'm intentionally doing. What this shows is... Anyway. Albert killed Rosalia. I don't want to say it, but it's... It, every All the evidence seems to be coming together just too much for this. Yes. Albert Sartre killed Rosalia. Rosalia and Albert lived together like a true family. What happened between them? Like that's what we have to save the data logs for. That's all we got. Okay. Unless you can analyze this. Yeah. Then we're gonna have to wait for you to give me some information. Oh, Dr. Kimishima, uh, about the You got another one? There we go. What is it? Sound files. There you go. That's how we're going to figure out the story is listening to all these sound files of him slowly descending into madness or something. Good. Can you tell when the recording was made? <laughs> well, it seems to have been recorded after the one I gave you before. But... What's wrong? Did something happen? It's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Oh, uh, sorry. Anyway, <laughs> please try listening to the new recording. I've sent it over to you in the file record 02. All right. I'll make sure I hear it. All right, what do we got? Gonna is he gonna be crazy? <laughs> really? It's over. It's all over. I, I was kind of I was joking about that. Really? I I thought I'd found God's child, but it was a misunderstanding. 
I was joking about the evil laughing, really. Oh, God. The devil. It's the devil. <laughs> oh, what was his final line? What was his line? Like, I made a deal with the devil or something? Is that what he said? Oh, I, I, I see where these are kind of coming together. <laughs> I thought it just had to do with him starting the, uh, uh, what's it called? Starting the virus, but it might have had something to do with this as well. Everything. It was all over on that day. That day six years ago. It must be stopped. I... I must stop it. Oh. He sounds like a very stereotypical bad guy. Oh, God. Bad, Please. like, scientist evil person. Ah, uh, yeah, he may have recorded that just before he killed her. Ah, uh, Dr. Kimishima, the results of the analysis are in. Good. Which results are we talking about here? We've got a lot of analysis. Oh, right. Uh, the one on Albert's bloodstain. Let's see. Traces of saliva were detected in the components of the bloodstain. Ah, uh, there we go. Albert contracted the, uh, the, the disease. Saliva? That he vomited means... blood. He contracted the disease from her. He spit in it. Blech. Suck it, blood. That's right. It means that the blood was from blood Albert had vomited. Yes, that appears to be the case. Can you figure something out from that? Well, Albert was infected with viral hemorrhagic fever. Yep. This disease causes severe attacks that trigger vomiting of blood. Severe attacks? that's the case, then he may have been like the other victims we've seen. Yes. Just like Veronica Cage and Alma Parker. There's a possibility that the disease undermined his sanity and drove him mad. We've seen the same thing as well from some victims. <sighs> well, in any case, we're finally starting to see the big picture behind what happened here. Hmm, not yet. The most important truth hasn't been uncovered. Of the recent outbreak of this disease? That, that is a good question, yes. isn't it? Albert died of viral hemorrhagic fever two years ago. What caused the resurgence? Rosalia, the host to the virus, was killed even before that. Was it somebody finding the bones? So why would the virus begin spreading now? And how can we stop it? We don't have any answers for these important questions yet. Sheesh. Looks like it's all over then. Well, I really don't have much to regret. No. I can still do this. I'm not going to give up. But we're plot characters. We can't get infected by it. Let's just go to, you know, let's live in Mexico here. It seems nice. I got flowers. I thought you'd say that. I prepared another voice file. Conveniently. Huh? You... Oh, come on. Did you really think I meant that? Even I have something to live for, you know? Hmm? Anyway, I've transferred the restored recording to you. <laughs> the file name is Record 03. Give it a listen. All right, do you know when this was recorded? Yes, uh, I've listened to it, and it seems to be from before Albert lost his mind. The recorder doesn't have any more files for me to send you. All right, I'll try listening to it. Hmm, Rosalia was found dead in that field of blue flowers. I think I might finally be able to understand why now. It said, said before he went mad, so this would be between A and B. The results of the experiments from the other day are in. It's a disaster. That virus. It's the most vicious and dangerous thing I have ever seen. No matter what attempts I make, nothing can stop their activities. They multiply. Devour and destroy everything. How can she still be alive while that monster lives within her? So yeah, Albert, Albert basically confirmed that she does have the virus, but yet it's not killing her. I feel that her blood holds the secret to that. Her, her blood is the only. Did you save like a vial of it somewhere? I hope he did. I hope he's gonna be like, it's a good thing I saved this under the floorboards. I cannot give up. There's nothing more I can do to 
gemacht. Ja, yeah, why did you kill her then? One day, this virus will be brought to heal, and I will return to that place. And. And? Yeah, that's not helpful. Professor Sartre said that Rosalia's blood was the only key. This key that Rosalia had that allowed her to live with the virus was... Probably an antibody, right? Or did they say? Yes. It was a glycoprotein called immunoglobulin. In other words, it was an antibody. The Rosalia virus is immensely powerful. The professor tried to extract the antibody in order to suppress and control its activity. <sighs> that was a Pandora's box that should never have been opened. Rosalia's blood was too much of a danger to look into. Well, what else can we do with this? Can you examine this? I don't know. This is all we've got, right? We can't... Can we analyze that again? Little guy, I need your help. Okay, I guess at this point now we can. Oh, that's rare coming from you. What can I do? I need to get to the bottom of these blue flowers. Uh, didn't we analyze those already? You know, I doubt that he had enough time, if he was going mad at this point, I doubt he had enough time to actually plant those flowers around her or drag her to it. So do you think maybe her body caused these flowers to turn blue? What we know now may throw a new light on what we've looked at before. All right, let's sort through our information again then. Yes. Rosalia was found collapsed in the middle of these blue flowers. That's right. We had a number of ideas about why that happened. We thought that the killer might have moved the body before hypostasis set in. But in fact... Another possibility was that Rosalia ran to the blue flowers herself. Yeah, I guess that's yes. true as well. Does any of that change with the information we've gained? Indeed. One of those possibilities has already been ruled out. Huh? Which one? Hmm. Don't you see? It's... I rolled out neither. <laughs> Oh, the killer didn't move the corpse because we found the bullet there. Yes. Yes. It's impossible for the body to have been moved after death. The reason for that is... The bullet in the ground. It was right there. Right. The bullet found in the ground beneath Rosalia proves she was killed right there. Hey, wait. Let me try arguing against you for once. What's that? Uh, never mind. It's, uh, it's still possible she was killed elsewhere, right? She could have been killed somewhere else, then dragged here and shot in the chest to cover it up. I suppose. Hmm, that's not possible. She was alive before she was shot in the chest. The proof of that is... Because she defended herself, that's what it was. Yes, defensive wound in her hand. You know, honestly, this is all hinging on the fact that we haven't found any more bullet casings, though. <laughs> like, seriously, we, like, <laughs> it's such an open area, we couldn't locate any more bullets or bullet casings, even if there were some. Rosalia held up her hand to try to protect herself from the gunshot. But we'll go with it for now. This pattern of wounds anime. could only happen if the victim was conscious at the time. You're right. <sighs> the student fails to defeat the master. What do you keep muttering to yourself? Nothing. Um, anyway, if that's the case, then that means that Rosalia ran to the blue flowers of her own free will. Hmm. I wonder why. Maybe I she liked the color blue. An for that. Yet. It might be a good idea to examine those flowers in detail once more. Maybe she wanted... Maybe she ran to the flowers because she wanted somebody to be able to see her in a helicopter if they needed to figure out where she was. For important story purposes. Maybe not, but seems likely enough. All right, let's check the flowers again. I do like this flower field. It is really pretty. These blue flowers. 
I can't believe such a vibrant color exists in nature. I should send a picture of this to Little Guy and have him study it. There could be a reason for why Rosalia had collapsed here. Maybe they have pointy thorns. It's scary, scary dangerous. I'm assuming she went from the door, ran down the steps, and then ran out here. Probably got shot again maybe somewhere around here or so, and then collapsed over here. Seems like it might be an option. Let's check the flowers. Little guy, I've collected some samples of the flowers. Huh? Why? I want to know why Rosalia collapsed there. There's no guarantee that it will help us, but there's a chance we might learn something useful. Hmm. Okay. It's worth a shot. Hmm. Good. Thanks for the help. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what the... What's the matter? Oh, well, this flowers... Uh, it's Asclepius. What are you talking about? The red flowers of the Asclepius. Oh. I want you to tell me about the blue flowers. That's what I'm saying. These are Asclepius. But their but their colors change. What are you saying? Asclepius doesn't have blue flowers. Yes, there are no known breeds of blue Asclepius. But from the shape and the structure, this is an Asclepius blossom. So it makes it sound like that this didn't this actually occurred after she died somehow, maybe due to the virus in her body, I'm I'm guessing. This flower shouldn't exist. What in the world is it then? Maybe it had something to do with her blood? Let's try sorting out the information we have. The blue flowers in the center of the field are Asclepias, just like the flowers surrounding them. Then why are the blue flowers only around Rosalia? It would lead to believe that it would lead me to believe that uh especially if these flowers shouldn't exist that it has something to do with the unknown uh, virus that we're dealing with currently. The reason for this is most likely they became discolored. That's right. Those flowers must have become discolored for some reason. A probable cause of that is Indeed. Rosalia was shot through the heart. So, Rosalia would have lost yeah. a large amount of blood from that wound. That blood then seeped into the ground around her. And the flowers mm. probably took it up. This miraculous blood, containing both the divine and the demonic. The flowers around her body absorbed Rosalia's blood from the soil. That, in turn, caused the flowers to take on this unnatural blue hue. <sighs> I don't want to believe it, but that's the conclusion that I have to arrive at. So she wasn't running for the blue flower, she was running into the field and she happened to stop here. Which seems about right. Yes. These allow us to finally figure everything out. It's no coincidence that Rosalia's body was surrounded by these blue flowers. They were normal red flowers until she died. When she died, her blood soaked into the ground. The Asclepias flowers absorbed her blood and changed color. Are we going to be able to maybe, like, take the flowers with us and extract the serum from it, maybe? That would be my thought. Most likely what caused the color change in the flowers was... That's right. The demon within Rosalia's veins lived on after her death finding another viable host in the blue Asclepius flowers. I can't believe it. How could such a thing... It may be unbelievable, but it is the truth. The corpse itself is a testament to that. Huh? The corpse? Yes. Remember, Rosalia's corpse had turned completely into adiposir. And doesn't that normally not occur unless you're in a, like, in an environment that bacteria can't grow? Like, um... What is it? Like, I, I think it happens sometimes in, like, bogs or something like that, right? Adiposir normally occurs when the bacteria that break down bodies do not multiply for some reason. 
This normally occurs when the corpse is stored in anaerobic conditions for long periods of time. Yes, but that, that clearly would not have occurred normally out here, because there's plenty of, you know, oxygen. But this yeah. is hardly an anaerobic location. This is probably the very opposite of an anaerobic location. The reason her body became adipocere was not due to environmental or weather conditions. It was because the virus within her continued to protect her body. But even if the blue Asclepius are harboring the Rosalia virus, how does that connect to the pandemic going on right now in America? It's impossible. You're right. The Rosalia virus is only passed on via contact with the mucous membranes. Even if this entire field was filled with flowers holding the Rosalia virus, it wouldn't be able to cause the outbreak in Portland, over 3,000 kilometers away. That's a question, isn't it? Then how? Is it because of those bones? There was a vector. A vector? Yes, some method of transmission that carried the virus from these flowers. This is how the virus spread to cause the infections in cities is hundreds of miles away from Is it the butterflies? Is it the butterflies? Huh? What? Can't you tell? It's... It's the butterflies! The butterflies! They're the murderers! It's all the butterflies. Death on golden wings. That's right. The butterflies that led us here carry the virus. The monarchs are the vector for the Rosalia virus. The monarchs are the vector. Who would have thought? This is how the Rosalia virus has spread. Who would have thought? Oh man. Oh man. We figured it out, guys. Wait, what? We're not done? Do I exit now? Dr. Kimishima, can I bother you for a moment? I figured it out. I don't want to talk to you, little guy. Hmm? Yes, what is it? I mean, I guess I do have some time to blow until they come back. You might not need this anymore, but I reconstructed another voice file. Yes, more story. Another one? I thought you'd said that you'd repaired them all. I lied. Yes, this file was actually marked as having been deleted. It still existed in the memory, though, so I was able to reconstruct it. I see. When is that recording from? From looking at the date, it's right before Albert lost his sanity. Oh boy, it's gonna be the last little bit of story we all need. Right. Still, it's unusual for you to go and do something unnecessary like this. Yeah, well, not sure how to put this. I felt this was something that I needed to pass on to you. Okay, I'll try listening to it. Please do. It'll be file record 04. <laughs> but I want, <laughs> but I, I want to leave. Oh darn it, I guess I'll have to listen to the voice file. Let's take a listen. Oh, music changed. Interesting. I'm Rosalia. Okay, then. I live here with my daddy. My daddy is really nice and says a lot of nice things. Except he, you know, shot me with a gun. Daddy's a great doctor. He says he's going to save everyone from diseases. He says I've got a poison and a cure in my body. You know, most fathers don't tell their daughters that. And that the poison's really scary, but the cure is really amazing. I feel like I recognize your voice actor. That's why he's researching how to get that medicine out of me. If that medicine is made, I wonder if it'll heal everyone. Or, you know, or either the butterflies are going to go and kill everyone. Keep listening. Mm. <laughs> Daddy's. Daddy's. But I think I'll be okay if I can stay here like this. I, I can't see my brother or my big sis. But yeah, she's probably referring to them. But Daddy's always here for me. It's really funny. Now he's doing that. Now he's doing that maniacal laughter where he's like, <laughs> and 
pulling out the gun. Will be happy if he can get the medicine out of me. The exams hurt, but if Daddy's happy, I'll be okay. So I hope that Daddy's research comes true soon. And then everyone can be healed. I was kind of, I was kind of half expecting that she was going to be like, it's a good thing I've got a vial of my blood, you know, with the appropriate formula and everything stored under the floorboards. Yeah, that was useful. <sighs> a father who wanted to end all disease and a daughter who wanted nothing but his success. This is far too sad a conclusion to their stories. And yet... Now I can see the truth behind everything that happened here. Do we get to piece it all together now? I'm kind of surprised. I, I, I thought it was going to be different. This answer seemed a little too easy. But I guess it does kind of fit in with everyone going crazy when they get this disease. Yes. I see. I understand now. Let's put together the truth of what happened here. We came here to find an antiserum in Rosalia's blood. Yeah. But what we found was that Rosalia had already been killed. I have in my hands the card stating what killed her. She, she was killed. By bullet. Though for some reason that doesn't seem quite right. Let's see. Gunshot in the flower field. That's what it would have been. Really? How could I do that? She killed with the gun. Okay, we'll take yes. that. The bullet's rifling matches that of Albert's gun. They probably want to save that one for the end. I bet. There's no doubt that Albert Sartre was her killer. No doubt. Three shots were fired. This card shows how it began. Let's see, there was the... Scenario at the entrance? Yes. Correct. He looks kind of like Gabe, doesn't he? From his desk and fired. Arr! He was aiming at his loving daughter who stood at the door. I'm mad! <laughs> However, he missed, and the bullet went through the glass. Ah, so the Whether first bullet never ended up hitting her. or his condition is unknown. Rosalia fled the room, trying to escape. And the stepped on, on some glass. The shard is from her stepping on it. Then why is the glass inside the room if he shot from she inside the room? In that was something that was confusing me. this prevented her escape. See, that's what confuses me because if you if the glass is broken from inside the room shouldn't it have flown outside like we should have seen it out on the porch I don't know uh, let's see probably because the leg shot that's right Albert stood in the doorway and shot her the bullet pierced Rosalia's leg and she collapsed Albert caught up with the frightened girl as she lay there. And then... Then he shot her again! Yes. He ended her life. And but then he folded her hands Albert up on top of her to make her look Rosalia peaceful. Because he wanted to. Oh, really? He truly loved Rosalia as he would his own daughter. But he had no choice but to kill her. This card shows the reason why. What? I'm a little confused on that. I guess it's because he vomited blood? Albert had been infected with the Rosalia virus. However, this virus does more than infect the body. It eats away at the heart and soul, as in my other cases. Because Albert knew of the virus's threat all too well, 
in order to exterminate it, he killed his own child. I don't know, you could have kept her in like Yet, a glass cage. he may have caused the exact opposite. Yeah, I don't know about the this. The blood spilling from the gunshot wound in her chest provided the Rosalia virus with a new host. This is the true cause of the spreading infection. Yes, the blue Asclepius flowers around her body drew in Rosalia's blood and became a new host for death. And so, the mass infection began. A certain organism served as a vector for the virus. Wasn't this two years ago, though? I'm a little bit confused about that. Like, wouldn't it only take one year for the butterflies to get around? Or maybe I'm confused on my timing. Monarch larvae store toxins of the plants that they ingest. The monarchs carrying the Rosalia virus migrated north. And as they went, they showered death in golden scales. Why did that take so long, though? This is the truth behind how the virus spread. Rosalia never. Neither did Albert. No one intended for it to end this way. One sought an end to all disease, and the other his success. But that was the beginning. The evil sealed in Rosalia gained wings and flew. That's what Rosalia's last word meant. Yeah, but did she know this was gonna happen? Did did she know? Beginning. This is the whole truth, illuminated by the light of life. You must have suffered too. Let's end this. So that's great and all, but do we have do we have the serum? <laughs> Naomi, come quick! We got the equipment working. All right, I'll be right. Oh, oh. Hey, Naomi? What's wrong? Uh oh, are you getting the virus? It's nothing. Let's go. Or is this like your thing where they told you you were gonna die in six it's months? It's not nothing. Let me take a... Uh-oh. <gasps> you... I mean, either way, this is bad. As I said before, we don't have much time. We still have a job to do, and we must accomplish it. Hey, wait! Hey! How's it coming, Agent? Did you find anything? We've got the power back on, as you can see. The rest's a pile of records, chemicals, and equipment. You? It's all been solved. Albert Sartre killed Rosalia. How sad. His effort to save the world is close to killing it. Yes. He must have realized the virus couldn't be used. That is what caused this tragedy to strike. So he didn't, in fact, necessarily go crazy. I mean, he kind of so, did, but still. Did you find a countermeasure to the virus? Yes. The virus's vector is the monarchs. The scales they lose during migration are spreading it. Don't tell me. The quarantine failed because... Because the, the butterflies... The monarch migration pattern extends from Mexico to Lake Erie. Even if the virus isn't airborne, it will still spread. Damn it! What should we do then? Naomi, I gathered as much as I could. That's what I figured Flowers. might work. What are you planning on doing? I'll use antibody stabilizers to extract an antiserum. You can do that? 
We're gonna try. Yes. Thankfully, this facility has the necessary equipment. I'll make the serum contain tripeptides in N-terminal order. Uh, all right. Just tell me what to do to help you. Of course. Let's get this over with as fast as we can. All right. All right. And everyone's still back just trying to deal with the massive amounts of people lying in the front. That was fun. I liked that. It was very different. Yet again, Trauma Center, or uh, the Trauma Center Games Trauma Team, as I should probably say, is still yet again surprising me with something just a little bit different. Very, very fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for some more Trauma Team. Bye!